Hey everybody, it's Maria, and I think I'm going to call this video uh, a tongue drum for all budgets because right here you have a good amount of tongue drums that I've uh, collected over the last four years, and they really do range in price, and some are very accessible. Most of them you can buy on Amazon. And some of them go up in price and maybe they're a little more difficult to get or you might have to wait a little longer. So let me just start by showing you my favorite drum because this is the drum that just speaks to me. And then we'll go from there. So we'll go from the highest amount of money that you could spend on the drum, any one of these drums. Believe me, tank drums start in the thousands. So um, this does not. So this drum is a rab drum and is made in uh, Perm, Russia by a man named Andrei Remyanikov. He had a vision. He wanted to take the idea of a tank drum, which you may or may not know, actually started with propane tanks, those tongue drums. And he loved the sound of the hand pan, but those are so expensive. And he's an engineer, and he came up with this drum called a, rav, a Ravast. And I got my first Ravast in March 2017. And I have to tell you, actually it came April. I ordered it in March after selling a whole bunch of my electronic equipment. Anyway, I had to wait like a few, I guess it was a couple of months for it to be made. It's a little different now because he has hired a lot more people. He's become a lot more popular. Without further ado, let me just let you hear how the Rav sounds. <laughs> play it with hands and if you do you can actually get some uh, harmonics because there's a lot of different cuts and you can you know just do a lot with it because of all the different cuts so you can have a lot of different harmonics the sustain is incredible it's up to 25 seconds I believe they've calculated it so this is just a beautiful drum. This is in what's called a integral or integral, integral. Um, it's, well, I'll give you the exact notes of the drum, okay? I wrote it down because there's a lot to remember. Uh, this is A, C, E, F, G, A, B, C, and E. And it starts from A2 and goes all the way up to E4. The smaller the tongue, the higher the pitch. And the larger the tongue, the lower the pitch. Okay, so that starts with a, a low A note. And it goes all the way up to the, that's the high E. So you have nine tongues, hand tuned, hand carved, and this uh, type of stainless steel, which never ha has to be tuned. It has stayed beautiful. Okay, this is actually the third rav that I got. I bought the D major. I was fortunate enough to win an E low pygmy, and I'll show you those in another video um, in a contest. And then I purchased this one. And this is a special drum because I played it actually um, right when my father passed away. I was playing this drum, and so it has a really uh, deep meaning for me because it was a beautiful scale to just play it. I used the mallets and so that it was very um, soothing. It's a very soothing scale. So maybe I'll play more after I show you the rest. Okay, so let's move on. I bought a case. I could show you the cases in another video or later on. Okay, some come with cases, some you have to buy. This is about, if you had to buy it now, it's about $730. I know they run specials and stuff. And there's the bottom, it tells you the name of the scale. I think it comes a little different now. It has some gold trim or something. So they've evolved, okay? All right. Then the next drum, uh, I guess in price, would be the um, Gouda. This drum I bought also maybe three and a half, four years ago. It is from Dmitry Gubarev in the Ukraine. I did not pay what they cost now because they've gone up. I think they're in the 400s now. And it's Gouda, see? And it's got a little pretty rope decoration. It has 
one cut so it's called an, a mini overtone because you can get some harmonics some overtones and it's got a beautiful hand engraving that Dimitri does himself this is called dream catcher and with the mallets it sounds like this it's got a very beautiful sound as well uh, there's no middle tone so this is just not a tongue, but a lot of people use that for percussive effects. If they're playing with their hands, you know, like... And you can hear some harmonics by hitting a certain place in the cuts. Okay, this is also steel, never has to be tuned. It's actually very light too. Um, Yep, so the Gouda drum, I just want to make sure I got everything. A 1.5 millimeter in thickness. That's the same as the Rav, as far as the steel. Okay? And this is considered, it's almost 14 inches. It's not quite. It's 13.78 inches. Oh, and the scale. The scale is a little different. I said that was A, integral. Um, this one is considered equinox, A, equinox. And the notes are... A, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, and C sharp. There is no B note. Essentially, it's an A major scale, but without the B. It does sound like a little more of a happy scale. It doesn't really sound minor to me. Where the A integral does, uh, and the A integral was A, C, E, yeah, that one, but that one does have the B, but there's no D in that one. Okay, so that's the, the Gouda, okay? Made in the Ukraine. The next one in price, actually, this one actually might be a little more than the Gouda. So I should have come to this one second, but you can get this between four and 500, depending, I think, on if you want it acoustic electric. This happens to be acoustic electric, so it puts it in a little different category because there's a pickup inside. But this is a drum that is made in the US. It's a, considered a tongue drum. Okay, um, Andre Ramyanikov calls his rab drum a tongue pan because he feels it's a hybrid. And um, I believe Dimitri calls his a tongue drum. And this is a tongue drum. And it's also made from steel. So all of these drums are made from stainless steel. So they never need to be tuned. Excuse me. They never need to be tuned. They never need to um, have any kind of, you know, thing done to them with coatings and such. They're all protected and look as good and feel as good as the day I got them. I got this one January 2017. This is actually my first tongue drum. So out of all of these, this was my first one. It's like a tattoo, I think. You know, once you get the bug, you want to keep going. So this one, this one is, this one has magnets. So the cool part is you can change, which I have done already, the, the scale. And the original magnets that came with it, it was tuned to a G major pentatonic scale. And I'll give you those, um, the notes on that. It was originally tuned E, G, A, B, D, E, G, A, B, D. And when it repeats, they're going smaller, the tones, which means higher in pitch. So it's a repeating scale. So, but I changed it. And I bought the extra magnet pack, which has these larger, um, these larger earth magnets, they're called. And I was able to tune it to a scale that I've grown to love. Another eclectic name, Akibono. It's a Japanese scale. And I just love the way it sounds. Um, I don't know if I wrote down the notes. That, oh, I do have the notes of the A Akibono. Um, I wrote it down. It's like A, B, C, E, and F. So there are certain scales certain tones that you don't have on the A Akibano. You don't have the D, and I believe there's no G, okay? And it's just got a really, to me, it's just a really soothing uh, therapeutic scale. Isn't that gorgeous? So I like to play this with the mallets that came with it. These mallets come with it. It also comes with this little ring so you can put it on a um, table and it doesn't affect the sound, okay? Or you can put it on your lap like I do. And... and 
and with it being with this one having a pickup you can put effects on it you can you know record it a little more easily and not have to worry about heat going on or dogs barking or people talking so this is an idiopan you can get it from n soul and as i said they're made in uh, florida right in the united states okay and they have the magnets inside so you can you move the magnets up and down the tongue to change the pitch you need a tuner which you can pretty much find them on your phone, which is great. Like, and then it'll, you put it near it and you just keep shifting it until it goes into tune. So there you go. You can spend a lot of time with that. I've gotten a little anal retentive trying to get it pitch perfect. So, but once you get it, I try to keep it for a while so I don't have to go through that again and I could just make music on it, not spend my time, you know, fiddling with magnets. All right. And the last one of the more expensive drums would be the Zenko made in France. Um, the name of the company is uh, Metal, Metal Sounds, I believe. And uh, yeah, Metal Sounds. And this is an Equinox as well, but it's in G. And essentially, it to me feels like a G major, but it doesn't have the A, which is also the second. So again, I believe it's, it's a more major sounding scale. Um, play it with the mallets. They come with these mallets and also a bag. The, none of the other ones come with a bag. I purchased the RAV bag. The um, Gouda doesn't come with a bag unless you purchase it. The Idiopan, same way. But this one actually comes with a bag and sticks, and it's actually quite nice. And um, it also comes with a ring to put on the table. So this is what this... Uh, this one is tuned to, as I said, Equinox. And I'll give you the exact... There... It's G, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, B, and D. So essentially it's in the C of G major, which has an F sharp, uh, but again, no A. So this is what it sounds like. metallic sound than all the other ones and there's a really like there's a sweet spot and if you don't hit it I kind of don't like it so I wouldn't say it's my least favorite of all the drums I just have to be in the mood to play this one it's um can be very beautiful if I'm in the right mood and I can derive the best sound from it so but it's made very well and it's also just as nice as the day I got it this one also happens to have a little thread here and you could put it on a drum stand that I believe they sell. So there's that. Now, I did purchase all of these except for the Gouda and the Rav on Amazon. So all of these were from Amazon, including this one and this one. So they actually had, you know, a third party sellers and I was able to do that. Um, so that's the end of the more expensive drums. The rest are the least expensive of the bunch. And yet, um, I think can be just as beautiful. Okay, so let's start with the, um, these are both Hiluru. I'm not sure if I'm saying it correctly, but I'll put it on the screen. And sold by different companies, but the first one, let me, well, I'll start with this one because it's a little, a little more money going down our route of going to the least expensive one. Okay, this one is 13 inches and it's 15 notes. So you have a lot of notes and it's in a major scale. Okay, and this one sells for about 215. So I would say out of the least expensive of Amazon, this is the most expensive of those. Okay, and this one is in D. I kind of thought that was cool because I have a rav drum in D and I also play the dulcimer, which is a sort of like in D, and so I could play with it. So this one has all of the tones of the D major scale, including the F sharp and the C sharp. And this is what this one sounds like. with the mallets uh, it's a little more percussive with the hands okay so these three were made in China okay 
These come with this little cap and you don't need a ring because it's already on here. So you could put it on your, your table. Okay, so it comes with a rope, which is quite nice. And it does come with a nice bag and the two mallets. Okay, the next one, this one's actually gone down like $30 since I got it. So I think you can get it for like $160 now on Amazon. Also made in China. It's a brand called Rakumi, okay? And it also has a rope braid. It also has the places so you can put it on a table, little rubber feet. It's got a way that you could take this off and then add magnets, as I said, or change the sound a little. This one tells you it's in the key of D. I think the other one said, I mean, key of C. This is in the key of C. That is in the key of D. But the cool part about this one, why I was attracted to it, is although it's in the key of C, the lowest note is actually um, an E. So it's, it's, from what I learned, it's actually E Phrygian. It's a mode of the C major scale. So it's starting on the third degree of the C major scale and then going around. So that I thought was kind of cool. And I think it's, it gives it a, a little more of a, um, to me it's a, also very uh, mellow sounding, therapeutic sounding. It has a lot of sustain. I notice with this one there are certain spots that are sweet spots, so you have to be careful, especially the higher tones. You have to, you have to really, that third, this high E is really the hardest one for me to, you have to really, you have to whack it in the middle to get that E tone. But that's why I wanna change it with some magnets and see what I come up with. So maybe if I lower it, it'll be a better tone for that particular a tongue. So that's what you, here's how it's, here's how it sounds with the hands. Lot of sustain which I think is nice and so you kind of get a lot of bang for your buck with some of these lesser expensive ones because you get the the bag you get the mallets you might get some pretty rope braiding and then the last one is one of my favorites because of the scale it's a Akibono and it came in this scale which is very cool also made by that uh, Hilluru drum and they seem to be making some really quality drums so I really like them they're probably my favorite of the Chinese drums so far. Um, I guess I can use this. It also comes with sticks and it comes with a little bag, not a, it's almost like a, a, a knapsack kind of thin nylon bag. So it wouldn't really protect it, but at least it comes with it. And this is about $100. So this is the least expensive of all these tongue drums. As I said before, that's the A Akibono scale, and that is um, A, A, B, B, C, C, E, and F. So it goes A3, B3, and then it goes C4, E4, F4, G4, and then C5. That's the highest tone, okay? love the sound of it and this is with hands what I like about it too is it's because it's so light I actually have taken it hiking with me and it's you know you can throw it in your knapsack and uh, it doesn't tell me how much it weighs but trust me it doesn't weigh a lot it's 10 inches by the way and eight tongues so let's just wrap up and try to see if I can um, give you the differences in a nutshell real quick. I mean, these three are made in China. Um, they're basically, these two are basically major scales, but again, with magnets, you might be able to change them. Uh, they're just single cuts, so there's no overtones. And they all have that uh, rubber feet on the bottom. 
and come with mallets and the bag. And this is a little inexpensive bag, but it still comes with the mallets and even the holder for the mallets right here. And most of them have numbers, this one does not. The numbers could help you with the scale degrees. Um, then you have the Zenko Equinox, and I have used it in videos, very pretty. Um, this one has uh, the Equinox, has nine tones, okay? So this one has nine tones, this one has 10 tones, that's the Idiopan. This one's made in the United States and Acoustic Electric. The um, Gouda is made by Dmitry Gubarev in the Ukraine. It has uh, nine tones as well. And the Ravast has nine tones and it's made in Russia by Andrei Remyanikov. I think I covered everything. So thank you so much for watching. There'll be future videos maybe where I go in depth with the way some of these work together and how I plan on using them together, uh, how I've changed them with magnets and such. So thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you can, and uh, this, I'll be sure to uh, be including lots more interesting videos in the future, uh, which include my love of music. So thank you so much, and stay tuned for the bags. Okay, this is the Ravass bag. Bye. Okay. This is just one zipper on the inside. It's pretty padded. It's knapsack style. Like that. And this is the uh, drum that the Hiller Room, the green, large, uh, 14 inch drum. Well, actually, it's a 13 inch drum, 15 tones. And not bad. Not as nice as the other one which is this one, which is the Rakumi. Okay, it came with this bag, which is a lot more padded. And it's got a, a shoulder strap, and it came with um, a mallet holder, this one. You can put mallets in this. Okay, the Zenko, one from France, came in a really nice bag. Very padded, with an extra pocket here. I'll show you, it came with, I put that in there, but it came with this. And it also has a place for the mallets as well. And it says then go. And that's it. So here's a little close up of the Ravast. Okay, a close up of the Gouda mini overtone. Close up of the, ooh, I have to clean it. <laughs> the Idio Pan. Uh, this is a dark cherry color. A close up of the Zenko Equinox, made in France. Close up of the Hillaru <laughs> drum made in China, Ayaki Bono. Close up of the Rakumi, pretty, 14 inch, 15 tongue. And a close up of the other Hillaru, which is a 13 inch and 15 tongue with a little rope around it as well. All right, be well, everyone.